My name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. Today's video is part of a collaboration hosted by my friend Sylvia over at What's Cooking at Mom's Kitchen. She has gotten 14 channels together and each of us is making a Filipino dish. All the participating channels are shown here. I hope you all take the time to watch all the other videos in this collaboration. We've all worked very hard. Now I have never cooked or eaten Filipino food before. But those of you who come by here a lot know by now that I'm always cooking recipes I've never tried before. Today I'm making Filipino egg pie. I'm going to show you how I made it, but before I do, I'd love it if you'd take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps my channel grow. Thanks so much. The first thing I did was place a refrigerated store-bought pie crust into a 9-inch glass pie plate. If you're feeling more ambitious than I did, you might make the pie crust from scratch. I crimped the edges like always. And when that was done, I lined the pie crust with parchment paper and filled it with pie weights. In this case, dried chickpeas. I baked it at 350 degrees for 11 minutes. After 11 minutes, I removed the pie weights, reduced the oven temperature to 325, and I allowed the partially baked crust to cool while I prepared the filling. For the filling, I separated six eggs, placing the yolks in my mixing bowl and reserving two egg whites in another. The other four egg whites can be saved for another recipe. I combine the egg yolks with one cup of evaporated milk, three quarters of a cup of sweetened condensed milk, a pinch of salt, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The recipe also called for half a teaspoon of something called calamansi juice. And since I didn't have that, I combined lemon juice, lime juice, and mandarin orange juice as a substitute. Calamansi is also known as a Philippine lime. The citrus fruit is a staple of Filipino and Southeast Asian cooking. The flavor is very sour and is a combination of lemon, lime, and orange. I mixed those ingredients together gently until they were well combined. I poured the mixture through a strainer off camera to ensure it was completely smooth. I set the mixture aside for a moment while I beat the two egg whites until they reached soft peaks. I folded the beaten egg whites into the egg yolk mixture. Then I poured all of it into the partially baked crust. I set it on a sheet pan and I placed it in the 325 degree oven for about 45 minutes. This square of sunshine has been trying to interrupt my video this whole time. My skylight is a blessing and a curse. I looked around and realized I really needed to clean my kitchen. I removed it from the oven when the top of the pie was a lovely brown color and only jiggled slightly in the center. I allowed it to cool to room temperature, then moved it to the refrigerator to chill for a couple of hours before slicing. This delicious pie is not too sweet, it's slightly sour, and has an amazing silky texture. 
I give it three and a half blue diamond Phillips heads. I hope you give it a try sometime. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll come back soon to watch me try making another brand new recipe I've never tried before. Be sure to give me a like or leave me a comment to tell me what you think. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel before you go. It really helps small channels like mine get noticed by more people. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in this collaboration. I've linked to each of their channels in the description box. I'm positive you'll find something delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.